welcome to Rana's Radar. I am here at the Kentucky Exposition Center at the Bluegrass Custom Cars World of Wheels. Absolutely phenomenal. Indoor just looks magnificent. Can't wait to show you all, but before we do that, I'm here with Ron and Greg. How's it going, guys? Great, great. This is absolutely fabulous. So tell us, what is Custom Cars Bluegrass? Well, it's a well, it's a custom car show that's in size. We have about 400 cars. We are a member of the International Show Car Association. And uh, what, what that means is that we have professional judges that come in and judge the cars. And we have cars from 10 to 15 different states that, and they're in a touring series. And they're competing for the finals, which will be January of next year. And uh, they, they have to participate in four shows and win. In order That's to awesome. go to the finals. And Bluegrass Custom Cars, how many years has this been going on for? This is our second year. Second year. So this is a phenomenal turnout for the second year. It's great. It's great. This is absolutely amazing. And Greg, you were telling me that, and this is the part where you know that I love, this is run by four couples. <laughs> four couples. So tell us about that. How did that start? Well, it's uh, four couples that are friends and uh, we wanted to bring this back to Louisville and we're Louisville related, our family, all of our families are from Louisville. Yep. Grew up here and uh, we did uh, a lot of uh, car shows. I've did almost 50 years worth of car shows. They're Louisville lost a uh, car show, Carl Casper show. Five years later, we brought it back. So. Nice, nice. And I'm guessing that spectators as well as classic car lovers would be absolutely ecstatic that you guys took over and you brought back everybody loves cars because um you said carl which was the show that casper casper carl casper, carl casper. that shut down and how long were they running for uh 55 years and 2017 was his last show wow i mean he had a great run oh great that is amazing to see it go for that long and even more better to have it continue on and have the same crowd come back and see their friends and get back together for the love of cars and get the family in it. and get the family involved i mean this is just amazing and it's not just for the love of cars or the love of classic cars but these are show cars correct so what are the standards for people wanting to participate oh here is well they have to send in an application and uh, there's, there's shows all over the United States, but we're very fortunate here in Louisville. People love cars, and we have we are just overwhelmed with applications. Uh, where a lot of shows don't have that. Yeah. But anyway, we have our applications on the website, and you have to send some pictures, and then the acceptance committee goes over it, and uh, that's how we get the home. And what are some of the requirements? Because these cars are not just like any other classic cars. Like I said, they are show cars. So, so some of the basic requirements that participants need to have in order to get involved. Well, basically, in an indoor show, you have to stanchion them off and things. And uh, just dis display means a lot. And we, when you have a real nice display, that means means a lot to be able to get into the show and stuff. And of course, the car itself. Of course, of course. As you walk around the show today, you'll see some displays that are amazing. I bet. <laughs> we have a fellow that has built a, a silhouette of a barn, uh, and just some some of these they really they really put your heart and soul into it. Okay, well and they have I'm, to love it in order to do it. They have to love it in order to do it. Well said. Well said. <laughs> I'm really excited. I'm going to go inside and have a good look around and um, chat with some of these builders, some of these drivers as well. And um, yeah, that's pretty exciting. So when is the next show? Uh, is it an annual thing? Annual thing. Okay. Yeah. So it'll be January the 20th. January 20th. 21st. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Count backwards. I would like to say one other thing. We also do a, a charity auction with the Pinstripers, and the, and the charity is a Crusade for Children, which is uh, a kind of a local thing here in Louisville and in southern Indiana. And uh, them guys come into town on their own dimes and they do all this work and we have an auction for the crusade and, and I just want to thank some of them guys for doing it. And one thing on top of that, 100% of that money goes, goes to the crusade for children. Last year it was $17,000. Wow. 
Wow, wow, congratulations. That's 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 amazing. And also we want to thank all the participants that brought their cars out to help us in order to continue this show. You know, before guys I was walking around with you and I could just see the vibe, the family atmosphere, the friendly atmosphere. Everyone's just high fiving each other as you guys are walking around. Obviously the whole town is aesthetic but you're continuing this awesome show. People love cars. And to get in touch with you guys, where is the best contact? Bluegrass World of Wheels dot com. That's easy. That's easy. Now let's go and check out some awesome cars. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Right, everybody behind me is a beautiful brilliant 54 ballet belongs to Buck John's here as well they both built this together it's taken them only a few years we started this build in October 30th of 2018 2018 now this is right up there as one of the top we just had the judges come in inspect inspecting everything the sides the backs the bottoms now you guys this is absolutely amazing what I want to know is well everything like every other video I want to know the entire restoration process behind this because this is top show car material by the 54 for you let's start off with that a friend of mine had a 54 when I was young and uh, we were going down a street called Dial Road he reaches down pulls the emergency brake and we do donuts in the, in the street <laughs> and I just remember I like the car it's different but I didn't like it well enough to own one back then. Yeah. Because I've gotten older, I can build the car the way I want it as this one is, and I love the car. Well, that's a great memory. So, yeah. no doubt you love the 54. And you've got your friend John here as well. How's it going? I, I joined on when we put the fireball in, and I started just to weld that in. That's all I was supposed to do. That's all you were supposed to do. But you've done a lot more. Now, we've been chatting. You've done a lot more than that. <laughs> So, so John and I started off, I met John probably six months prior to that. I was looking for a welder. Yep. And a friend of mine introduced me to John. And John says, buy this welder. And I did. When John comes over and we start working together, John says, I don't think that welder is big enough or good enough. You need to get another one. So with John's advice, I bought a new welder. He said, because you're a little bit more advanced than that. So that's how we ended up and we started off john actually charged me in the yeah. very beginning by the iron yeah but we got to become friends and after the friendship began and he talked about his basement and contractors were ripping him off he said i said one day john let's just stop what we're doing let's go look at your basement we went and looked at his basement i said I'll tell you what tomorrow we're not working on the car because <laughs> it's june and it's hot it's yeah. hot outside we worked on his basement from June until December. Wow. And we completely finished the basement. We built cabinets. We installed hardwood flooring. We did it all. Wow. His wife, he, both, and anybody is happy with the, the results. John says, from then on, I'm with you through the end. Wow. We're going to build this car. That is amazing. I love stories like that, everybody. And this is why I keep coming back into the car world. You guys didn't know each other. I mean, when I first saw you, I thought maybe, you know, you've been friends for a while and stuff, but just met. 2018, yeah. 2018, you guys just met. That's but my your brother. friendship, there you go. And as a result of this friendship, look at what we have got here now. Okay, John, so tell me, 
What was the state of this when you first got it? Uh, it had been, it, it was kind of like a barn find. The 54 had been in a, a barn since 1985. Wow. And I talked to the guy and I asked him, I said, do you have FaceTime? He said, yes. I said, well, let's both do FaceTime. And I walked him through and I said, you walk around the car. And he showed me different places and points on the car. And I said, that's great. I'm going to buy the car. He wanted 4000 I gave him 3500 Nice. And so I drove to South Dakota the next day and picked the car up in 48 hours A later. barn find. So this is a complete frame of restoration. A real barn find. It was in a barn. <laughs> yep. So got the car home in October the 30th, about thereabouts. It took two weeks time to tear this car down to the frame. Yeah. But it took three years to build it back. Of course. Okay. Of course. Now let's have a look up close. Now, John, you were telling me some great details. One of the things, the quarter panels, what can you tell me about them? Because there's been some things done to that. Quarter panels had some corrosion in the bottom. So we installed new ones. We installed new rocker panels. The floor pans were good in it, but Buck built up the seats. The metal, that's metal underneath the seat, it's sitting something solid. Mm -hmm. And so the seats, they got six-way power seats in it now. Wow. And there's the six-way power seats are not the only modern thing. I mean, this has reverse camera as well. Yes. And um, as we saw the interiors before, you've even got your screen there. So Bluetooth connectivity. Correct. Everything is up it's to date. It's got everything a new car has. And it's got cruise, it's got air. It's got modern digital gauges. They look like old gauges, but they're digital gauges. I love that. <laughs> Because you still want to maintain that vintage look. Correct. And that's been done very well with this 54. It's like we tried not to modify the dash too much. We put the Chevrolet back in there, but we, we worked a lot on it and changed a few things to make it look like it does now. Uh, that is brilliant. Now, there is a lot of small, fine details that makes the car and also puts it over the top. We're going to get into underneath it. I love the crime work, and you guys have done well with displaying the mirrors just so everybody could get a good look at that. But tell me about some of those fine details that you have contributed. Well, we changed the firewall. We also changed the fenders. We put 55 Chevy headlight front end from a 50, I mean, like a 55 where it's got the porch over the headlights. Because you wanted to put 55 headlights in the 54. Correct. And originally it would not fit. Now, I've never seen a 54, so this is my first. Um, they originally started out this is blunt flat with just a little trim ring around it. Okay. And I had to cut it from here, back to here, and down here. And so I had to build all that. Wow. Now that speaks a lot about your welding uh, work because the finish on that is just, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect, isn't it? But you did that well. You did that well, put the 55 headlights in the 54 fenders by welding. And the inner fenders have been changed as well. They're all sheet metal. They didn't come out that way. They look totally different than what the factory ones do. So you've got a beautiful LS3 in there now. Pushing out a lot more horsepower than 80. <laughs> yeah. It's pushing more than 400 horsepower now. But you know what? Now, Buck. Yes. I love the fact that you've wanted to maintain the vintage look. There's a lot of modern additions to this. You've got the reverse camera in there, Bluetooth connectivity, cruise control, but at the same time, the dash, as John was just telling me, it still looks vintage. You've still got that classic 54 look. And I wanted to, I wanted to keep that because, mm -hmm. to me, that was important. But it was also important to bring it up to the current standard. I wanted a good riding chassis. Yeah. So it has callovers all the way around, which means you can raise or lower the car with the just of a large nut that's on the colon so you can raise the car or lower the car okay it has rack and pinion steering which is power steering in the car originally did not have it has air conditioning and the air conditioning has um auto control so you you put it on 70 degrees it maintains that 70 wow. degree temperature not even some of the modern cars have that no it does not <laughs> And uh, the inside car colors uh, on on the instrument cluster, I think there's 15 different colors, but I like it green. Tell me about that color because I do like it. 
it's not exactly green. There's a lot of pearl in this. There is. Okay, this is Evermist Green, I believe. That's what, it's really hard to keep up with. The names of the, the, names paint, of colors? the paint colors? I hear that. <laughs> uh, the, the leather interior is British Racing Green. I had this imported out of London. Okay, and I actually found it, but my upholstery guy ordered it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, the car originally had a bench seat, not bucket seats. Beautiful. The car originally had crank up windows and got power windows, power steering, and now it has power door locks, it has power windows. Wow. It has the center round button is actually a tag up and down so I can put the license tag up when I'm at car shows and I can put it back down when I start the car. I've never seen that. Yeah, so come back here. And if you look in the mirror, you can actually see if we catch it just right, or you might have to stick it under, you can see the license. Oh, tag. yes. So right sitting flat here is the license right. and that button inside and that which will is, rotate down yep and then under here there's an led light that actually shines down on the tag when you pull the lights on and here everybody's the reverse camera and that's the reverse camera now underneath here you this is absolutely brilliant the chrome work as i was telling that, john that is powder coat oh it's powder coat okay okay and the powder coat in the frame had to be dismantled and it had to be sandblasted then powder coat and I tried to color coordinate the bottom also, just like the top. You did well. You did very well. The 54s, where did they fill up? Oh, they filled up inside. Okay, something that's, that's the gas tank. Yeah. Okay. There used to be a gas door here. Like which, the 55s? On the 54s, the 55s, but now the 56 has an access door. That's this right. This one doesn't. I put it here. Okay. And, and you know where this came from and why I put that here? I'm tired of pulling in Sam's because you have to either get on one side of the pump or the other. With this one, it doesn't matter where I'm at. <laughs> so right. I can pull it from either side. <laughs> and what about the wheels? Buck, okay, what the can wheels, you tell us about the wheels? The wheels are 20 inch and they are Foose wheels. 20 inch. Okay, 20 inch wheels. This is just amazing. It's It Brilliant. has it has AM and FM stereo. I can also Apple Play. I have uh, there's a GPS antenna right on the dash. Uh, there are speakers front and rear. The speakers are also in this kick panel right here, and I've built speaker boxes in dead space inside the fender, so the speakers actually set back in the fender. Is that why we made the fenders bigger? No, the fenders are the. the I liked a 55 eyebrow. Okay. And that's why I chose to put the eyebrow over the 55 or over the fender because originally this would have been a stainless steel ring yes. around here. Yeah. I didn't want the stainless steel ring. I wanted an eyebrow like the 55 Chevy had. And that's why. I, so that's why I, that allows you to have the, oh, I can see the wires of the speakers there. That gave you that extra room to put the speakers to there. To put the speakers back there because this was actually dead space from the factory. Okay. Okay, so behind this spring and down a little more, I built a box that actually extends out into the fender well and, and it holds the speaker. Nice. Now, we were talking about the competition. You are going head to head with a Rolls Royce. Correct. What year is that? I, I'm not sure. All right, we're going to try and find the Rolls Royce that's competing for that spot with our. In fact, I'll walk you back and we'll go see it. That should be fun. That should be fun. Okay. <laughs> a little friendly competition. Let's check out the Rolls Royce because what is the class that both of these are competing in? Okay. Semi hardtop, which means I've made seven critical changes on this car that put me in that class. Okay. Okay. So the door handles have no locks. The original 54 had a key. Okay. There's no key to the trunk. There's no key anywhere on the car. It's all Let's go and check out the Rolls Royce because the music's coming on in the back.
right, Michael, this is absolutely luxury. Thank you. It's absolute luxury. The epitome of luxury. The epitome the of luxury. That's it. How's it going? It's going wonderful. It really is going wonderful. So appreciate you asking me to come up and talk about the car. Yes, please. It's a beautiful Rolls Royce. I'm thinking 60s. It's 1961. 61. So 1961 Silver Cloud, long wheelbase. And when yep. I say long wheelbase, they only made 650 of these from 1958 to 1963. Okay. It's the limo version. And you'll see in the back window if you take shots, there's a partition. Um, it is a true limo version. So um, we got the car in a barn. It was sat actually, believe it or not, it's wow. a barn find. Sat there for 19 years. Wow. So you know, when we found it, need a lot of work. It was not the best, let's say, in the barn. So as we got the car, we decided to put a lot of energy and a lot of work, and this is kind of what you see. Now this was built and tributed to my mother passed away 10 years ago she was British she always wanted a Rolls Royce you know and didn't want dad to have problems so we kind of started working and we were able to get this to a friend who knew it was in the barn we got it hence this is what you see now that's amazing that's so nice I love the fact you know I always ask people you know why this car for you but you've answered it right there you were looking for a Rolls Royce in memory of your mom that's correct she you always wanted one, one. Actually, we weren't really looking at what was the interesting. It came to us. Okay. And so, which is even more interesting because we always look and we didn't know, but then it was funny that someone came to me and said, are you interested? We said, well, let's go look at it. And it's that aristocratic body line, the long, beautiful lines. So we said, you know, that's good. And then as we did research, dad was going back and forth to England, found research that this is pedigree. This was ordered in 1961 by Sir Hansley Brigham. Wow. who was the president of the Golf Society of Great Britain. And so when we found that, yeah. and the long wheelbase, and the rarity, okay. then we said, you know what, let's build it. We need to build this. And so this okay. is what we ended up doing. And it's obviously an absolute frame-off restoration. Full frame-off restoration, nut and bolt. Full, we, we did 21st century technology. You'd be more than happy to step in if you want. Thank look. you. Uh, we decided to pull the older technology, which was still Rolls-Royce, but we wanted drivability. Yes. So we put the LS in it. We have a full Art Morrison one-off chassis. We have air ride suspension with auto leveling. Six LED transmission with nine inch on, uh, on the rear with a six link. So undercarriage is all 21st century technology. Digital gauges, digital push button, drive all day long if you want, but still in the luxury form. Still in the luxury form, still in the classic form. Still the classic form. We kept the body lines all original. Yeah. The interior patterns are all original. All I did was move out the piping and put French stitching in there. Uh, got rid of the springs, put 14 inch massive memory foam into the seat so it really goes sinks in. Luxury. Okay. <laughs> and so, but we kept all the original, everything you see on the outside, the wood's all original. The wood's all the original. The and steel is all original. We've had it all reworked by, you know, uh, Craig got Speed and Chrome, and then Fort Madeira Beach in Florida did all the wood work for us. Okay. Custom well, Michael, out. come over here as so I can film as you're telling us because there is a lot done here. It's absolutely magnificent. Give you a cut idea on the color of the painting? Yes, okay. I, was, I was just about to ask now you I'm gonna that. I'll show you two. <laughs> I have my phone, but I'll show you. This is a special color. Dad and I spent over six months discussing, trying to get it. At the time, everybody was doing root beers and, pearl and reds. We wanted no red. This is called brown sugar. Brown and then, sugar. And then add it. What it does is it looks brown, but it's got a heavy micron gold. Yeah. And the best thing to do is when you see that, when the sun is hitting it, it gives it a halo. And so if you look at the gold. Wow. It actually looks like specks of It is gold. Heavy micron gold. You can see really when the light is showing on the inside of the motor. Oh yeah. See that right there? But I'll show you right there. You see that right there? Ah oh, yes, there you go. In the sun, it feels like there's a halo on top of the car. Wow. And it's kind of with my mother again. So. Wow. And I can see this. That must be another tribute there to That you. is a tribute to my mother. Correct. With the roses. Hence, it's got her name Pearl right here. It's got our logo. That's just a plate I had made up. I stick it right there for her memory at all times. That's beautiful. Is that an LS2 or 3? It is an LS3. Oh, it's an LS3, yeah. All custom made. Now, we got no Rolls Royce should have plastic on it. <laughs> so we eliminated all the plastics for the LS. We custom built the valve covers, the valley pans, all custom made. Everything, that is a custom made air induction system. It comes out to the front. It comes into air induction right into the front. So it's forced air.
this is just custom LS3 block now that that's neat. That, that is very one-off <laughs> and again we didn't want people ask what is it they think it's a small block it is actually an LS3 so that was there when you got the car that is correct that's the, the original block we had to redo it yes now this car, all the components of the engine and electrical were in this car, right here. Yes. We cleaned up the firewall. We had a weld up over 186 contact points. Oh, wow. So to clean it up, to do the whole firewall, to keep it super clean, it's an electronic hydraulic assist braking system. That's all tucked up underneath. That's why it's pretty clean over there. Very so nice. What was everything. the engine for the It was a V8. In 1961, it was the first year for a V8. Okay. Okay. But it was big and massive, it had its filters and everything. I could imagine. And the, the transmission was basically GM Turbo 400. I'm going to take my bag off just so I want to get underneath and sure. see because you've got a lot of mirrors set up and yep. I haven't had a chance to look. Full carriage, full things, a little old school. That's when I did my louvers. I'm old school, so I like my louvers. <laughs> look at that. Show car. One of the other things I want to show you that people don't realize. And of course, right hand drive. Right, a true European car. Remember, we said who ordered the car, remember? We yeah. left it that way. We were the, People said, well, move it to left. I am not touching the left. It is actually going to stay right hand drive. It feels very normal to me because I just spent a month in Australia. I'm from Australia and I was just there for Christmas and New Year, so I had to be driving on that side. As soon as I walked by, I was like, oh. I think it's easier to drive that side because I drive towards the right anyway, so it's just so much easier to sit there and run. Well, while I am here, all you original said the, wood. All this original is all wood. original from 1961. It was dirty, so we had it all cleaned wow. up. The inlays are still good. It's the natural burl wood. But I love the pattern of the burl wood. Absolutely, and that's that. all. Remember, that was all handcrafted back wow. in the day. It was dirty, so we just had to have it all cleaned up, polished. And that burl wood is very thin, yeah. so it takes a true expert to be able to do it. Not me, but an expert to be able to get that right so he doesn't burn through the wood. Right. Another thing too, original mohair from oh. the factory that we were able to get. Oh wow, that is soft. <laughs> now this is the limo version everybody, as That's Michael correct. just told us earlier, and you do have the, what did you call it? Partition window. The partition window. Oh, wow, I love that. I'm going to actually want to sit in this car for a moment. You are more than welcome to sit in. <laughs> I don't usually ask to sit in the cars, and I never say no when I get offered. And you are more than welcome. But we're going to have to sit you, inside you the Rolls Royce. Sit in the rear so you can get that luxury feel of the seats. I look, they got some bourbon in the bourbon. back. We had two four roses, tribute to my mom. Yeah. Oh, that is beautiful. So in '61, did they have the back like this as well? It was not. Okay. Remember, it was just the regular. It was everything was moved forward a good six inches, and here's the difference is right here on these cars that you see they think it's all the same the window would stop right here well this is the long wheelbase that's the extended part which extends which shrinks the trunk but extends everything back another six inches yeah so you've lengthened it we did not from the factory from came the factory that way. came that's how it was ordered remember only 650 of these were made wow so we didn't link it we've kept everything the way it was back in 61 Okay, uh, well, in regards to the body lines of the car. And uh, I'll tell you about the body lines, which you make a little bit different too. I love what you guys have done here. Obviously, the table is a big hit. Both sides. But, but both sides tables. Wow. Separate heating and air conditioner in the back for the, for the passenger here. Um, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth capabilities. Wow. That's just, yeah. Again, back in 61, original switches. These are power windows. So Did they have? Rolls-Royce did. Rolls-Royce had power windows in 1961. Wow. And the chains are still operational. We've got to clean up the chains and get new chains. But the motors have been all reworked, redone. So it's everything, all the components. It's original. It's all original 1961 Rolls-Royce. Yep. Wow. Same with the motors in here. We've had them all rebuilt, all redone. But everything is all original 61. Everything is stuck away. You've restored it back to its original. Absolutely. That's big. That's huge. Okay. <laughs> that is huge. That's definitely huge. I mean, a couple things we did on the trunk. We got the suitcases, but they're kind of covering my four batteries I have in the car. Well done on that. And it looks magnificent. Everything's tucked down in. Yeah. 
Silver Cloud? Silver Cloud 2. Silver Cloud 2. They made 1, 2, and 3. Yeah. This year period from 60 to 62 was a 2. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look here. I've got to say, Michael, you guys have done so well with the presentation of the Rolls Royce. Right here, I mean, everybody looks absolutely amazing, but if you can just have a look at the showcase. And then you've got displays all around it. It's we built the display on the car. We came outward with the car. So everything that you see was built outward to enhance what the car is. To enhance have. that, yeah. Yeah, I understand. I can get that. Now, what about the wheels? The wheels. I'm glad you've read some those. I've been waiting for you to ask me. I mean, how could I not look at them? These are custom-made Detroit steel mobs, five offense, five five inch offsets. Now, I have actually personally, I designed this ring here. This is a full floating cap. And what this means with this full rim, if you look at it, it's not a spoke. So when it's driving down the road, you don't really see it, but you can touch it. It's all one piece yeah. that you can all fit out. But when you go down the road, it doesn't look like the wheel's turning because that stays stationary. It does not move. Oh, wow. And, but it does move. I got a demo. Come over here and I'll show you a demo. I would love want. to see that demo. have a demo. I'm going to spin that for you and I'm going to have you feel it too. So if you look at that right there as I spin it, you see it's moving. Wow, it is moving but it looks like now, wow, it looks like it's not spinning at all. Right. Now, it, these, you get a little wobble off of this display, of but course. these do not wobble. Those, of course. <laughs> so the thing about that, look at that rim and think about that going down the road. It looks like it's floating. The car's not moving, but it is because that RR center is just stay stationary. So, yes. I would love to see that on video. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's move over to the driver's side and have a look at... I can open the door for you. Thank you. The partition window, does that is that automatic or? Two controls. Mm -hmm. The passenger has that top switch at the top you see. If they're sitting back there, they want privacy, they can take that switch, go to the left or right, up or down. Yeah. And then the driver himself has a switch that's separate, can do the same thing. If they're they're back there doing something, hey driver, can you raise it up? So we have a switch up front that we can raise it up or down. How much privacy would they get? Just to lower the level of the noise? Absolutely, full privacy, because remember when that window's up, that's also a window that's tucked up, so it's all sealed. It's not just the window. This is also enclosed here too. Wow. So they get total privacy, and believe it or not, it will knock 30 to 40 decibels of sound down wow. by that window closed. So they could have privacy talking, and you might hear a, a mumble. A mumble. That's yeah. it. Yeah. But the way they're driving, they'll have full privacy. They'll have full privacy. This is brilliant. All right, sir. Well, I'm going to step in and see Absolutely. These. Sit in and have a good time. What did you say about the seats? You said the that... The seats themselves are 14-inch NASA memory foam. There's no springs in those seats. All the foam has been cut accordingly, and then we put the fine leathers on top of the memory foam. Wow. So you will feel the difference when you have a seat. All right. Will you hold on to this? Feel wow. the difference? I do feel the difference. And then you're in the front, so wow. when you get a chance to sit in the back. Wow. And you've got the LED lights you were telling me about. What's that? The LED lights. Everything that, that we've got for digital, uh, we have everything that's digital up. Those LED lights are built for the show. Oh, for the show. And so okay. they, they enhance the wood grains, they enhance the back. You get a little bit more reflective light. So that way you can see the car a little better. See, even the stitching here. All the stitching is, is right here. 
screams luxury. So we got rid of the piping, mm -hmm. which was out, and decided to do French stitching. Very nice. Very nice. Original steering wheel. Steering wheel's custom made. Mm -hmm. Burwood, that's on, actually that's maple. Um, custom made for that, Flaming River steering. We got rid of all the gauges and all the handles. We put everything that's digital up here. So this is classic white face gauges with a PCS push button control. It's called push control system. That's for the transmission. So everything is digital and push button. Wow. Wow, you know what? I could sleep on that seat. That is very comfortable. You have to sit in the back. <laughs> That's a little bit more comfortable. It's more comfortable. And why is that? Because the driver only had this much space. Now, when you sit in, now you'll get to stretch your legs. Oh, put yes. Put your feet on the feet rest. Look at the back, feet rest. Sit. This is what it should be wow. as you're being transported away. Wow. And there's a table here, and here's one that's Over open. Your wood. Wow. Now, did you have this done, or did you um, do some of like who, who worked We've on done. A, we did the engineering. We did the designing. Nobody's customs built it for us. Dad did the research on the car. Got the Art Morrison chassis built. Got the Spear Tech transmission. Got Spear Tech engine. We got all those components, but nobody's customs put it together for us. Colonel's upholstery did all the interior work for us. Nice. And now, what what does your how does your dad feel when he sees this car? Oh, when um, he's around it, because I know kind of what you're doing right it. now, that big old smile. And yeah. so that's the biggest component for this, because I told you the tribute for my mother. Yeah. And so for him to see that at the sh car shows we do, it's kind of a, a, a talk about. We can never really see our car, because there's a lot of people around the car. I didn't even know who the owner was. <laughs> Right, at all the time. Yeah. We can never get to, and Dad loves to see that. We sit over there, and that's the biggest thing that he's so happy about. I love that. And so it's, again, with Mom, it brings back Mom. You know, it lets him know, statistically, like I said, Mom yeah. passed. They were married 55 years. So wow. Statistics show otherwise things can happen. So we decided to do cars. Well, you so guys have done a phenomenal job, and I appreciate this so much. Thank you for sharing that with me. I mean, that is, in, and she would love that, you know, God rest her soul. We would know, we know that too. Thank you so much My for that. My pleasure. Thank My you. Pleasure.